Four years ago, if somebody told me that I would be in a residential treatment program because I was addicted to intravenous drugs, I would not have believed it was possible. I was happy, I was productive and successful, I was making great money, and I was healthy and active in the outdoors. My life was great. I was really close to my dad. Four years ago, he let his beard grow to hide his first cancerous tumor in his throat. We begged him to get medical help, but he wanted nature to take its course. A year and a half later, I was staying at his house, and he didn't come downstairs for breakfast. I went to his room to check on him and found that I had lost my dad. Instead of dealing with my emotions, I bottled up all of my feelings and pretended like everything was okay. I tried to run away from the stress and depression that had developed in my life from hiding everything inside. Nine months later, I found cocaine. I immediately started doing coke all day every day because I loved the false sense of confidence that it gave me. I didn't believe that I had a problem because I was, be because I was able to hide my addiction so well. Over time, I stopped loving myself and caring about myself, and things started to go downhill really fast. I was getting really depressed and used more coke to hide these feelings from myself. In September last year, I started to have a lot of suicidal thoughts, and I didn't know why. I reached out to my sister and told her about these negative thoughts and about my addiction. I started seeing a therapist and tried to get sober on my own. It only lasted a few weeks. Things kept getting worse. And by last November, I started shooting up cocaine because I had gotten a deviated septum. That was the only way I could do it at that point. At the beginning of January this year, my family surprised me with an intervention. I refused to get treatment. I tried to get sober on my own again. I stopped hanging out with toxic people, but I was still using and hiding it really well. I met my wife at the beginning of February. She made me want to be a better person. I got sober and relapsed several times before I went to a 30-day program in June. That wasn't enough, and I relapsed immediately afterwards. In late July, I agreed to go to a 90-day program, and my sister found Elevate, and I came here the next day. I was planning on leaving after detox. I thought this place was a cult because everybody was so happy and social. I couldn't believe that it was real. I decided to give it a chance to be fair to my wife and family. After a few weeks, I broke down and cried because I realized I was happy for the first time in a long time. Elevate has built me back up mentally and physically to be stronger than I was before I even started doing drugs. This program was difficult, but of all the but all of the small accomplishments started to make me proud and I started feeling good about myself. This place has really changed the way I think about things. Now it is easy to accept and change my thoughts and emotions. I have gained the confidence and discipline that I need to live a fulfilling life again. I really appreciate everybody going through this program with me. We can all do it. Like, life will be so much better for everybody. I'd also like to thank my family for finding this place and for being supportive during this process. I really appreciate it. Now it's time for me to prove that things have changed. Thank you guys. We believe that you should empower the individual mm -hmm. and that we need to show them what went wrong and then give them their power back so that they can tackle addiction as an issue and overcome that. With your program, how successful are you? And so we track them all the way through the program and then after the program. And last year we ranked number one in the entire nation based off of success and overall results. So if people wanted to get more information, where do they go? ElevateRehab.org.